here with Shalisa from the Netherlands. Yes. I have to say, I'm digging your style. <laughs> Mario, can you capture Shalisa you. from top to toe? With with golden shoes. Hmm? I know, and I hear that this is your favorite jacket. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Well, we're going to hear more about your favorite jacket. Should we take a seat? Yeah, of course. Because I'm an old queen. I can't stand <laughs> for too long. <laughs> right. I'm going to need you to move closer, Mario. Okay, a million likes. You know, it's interesting because your name is Shalisa. So on Wooey Blogs, we've nicknamed you Shalisa Keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not the only one. That's the funny part. Because uh, a Dutch artist also said, you're just like Alicia Keys. Shalisa Keys. And, I was I like, know. and then you said it too. And I was like, well. I know. You, what? <laughs> and I hope that she's watching and <laughs> reading this. And she might send you a postcard from New York. Hello. <laughs> Do you like her? Is she one of your favorite artists? Yeah. She could uh, play the piano too and sing too. So that is what I really, really like about her. But it's, it's funny because I never thought about uh, uh, that I look like her. May not just like the outside, but my I voice. Think I think, yeah, your artistry is very similar because you're very soulful. She's very soulful. Yeah. Um, you play the piano. She plays the piano. You know, you sing. You dance. You you've got style. She's got style. <laughs> but she doesn't like candles on stage. Tell us about no. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the candles on my piano, but there were cameras. Uh, cameras? No, there were <laughs> candles <laughs> on the left screen behind me. And then um, we were a little bit like, well, it's not Christmas. It ain't Christmas, so we actually just want stars because it's a million lights. And then it was like, okay, <laughs> we do the stars. Speaking of a million lights, the, um, the Dutch team have actually given me these peppermints, which is like <laughs> yeah. just millions of them. And they're all like, oh God, I wish I had one to show. But um, yeah, it's very interesting your memorabilia um, this year and your sort of um, favors that you're giving out these peppermints. I thought it was a really clever idea. <laughs> was it your idea? Yeah, it was our idea. Yeah. But Shalisa, so, something tells me, a little yeah? bird tells me. A little bird on your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> tells me that you are, you're very much in control of your artistry. So one of the things I heard today was that during the rehearsal you complained that the fog wasn't enough and they needed to bring more fog on like you have a really clear vision of how you want things to be yeah when i look back i'm like okay maybe they could do that but i don't know yeah it's just like i'm just uh, i'm very critic person creative or critical critic oh yeah, wow critic. okay so when I, I hear i hear myself i'm like okay that's it ain't it, ain't, it it's okay but it ain't good so Actually, when I'm looking at myself, I'm always like, oh, I have to do a little bit better. And then next time I heard that uh, for myself also, it was this, the second rehearsal was a lot better than the first rehearsal. Yeah, yeah I watched your second rehearsal. It was very good. It was like, a, it was like the real thing. It, it was not a <laughs> rehearsal anymore, was it? It was like, wow, okay. You. you are not playing. And of course, you were on The Voice Kids as well, the very first edition of The Voice Kids. Yeah. So you're kind of used to competitions. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of experience with competitions, yes. Yeah. But the thing about competitions, yeah, it, it is a competition, but what I most like about competition is just be with each other also and it is a competition I know I know but just also to meet uh, people and who have the same passion you know, like so who have been your favorites this year then that you've met um, like the, um, the the countries and the songs and the yeah, artists? yeah. okay um, well I think it's hard to judge because um, every country has another culture another music style so I think for me it's hard to judge but then I was thinking like what would I like what do I like what could I sing and then I'm like this year is uh, Australia and Slovenia yeah all right okay yeah they're, they're, they're very good songs as well actually yeah that's interesting I think so yeah. too so tell me by the way <laughs> let me move closer <laughs> You have one of the most interesting backstories. The backstory? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Apparently, you auditioned two dancers in the Netherlands who came on with you, and these dancers found love on your set. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> apparently, 
um, one of them turned 16 and the love yeah. got so passionate that, <laughs> that because the one who turned 16 could not join you in Sophia, yeah. the other one was like, I'm not leaving without my girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tell us the story. Well, there are a couple and that was really, really cute and really fitting into my act and my piano playing and the song and things like that. And they were dancing so cute together. And then uh, she turned 16, yes, in October. So she couldn't go with Sophia. Um, that was a little bit sad. But then, of course, um, her, girl, her, her boyfriend said, um, yeah, but if she doesn't go, I don't want to go. And I was like, yeah, I, I actually got that. Like, you're dancing with your girlfriend and then maybe if you go and she doesn't go, you have to dance with another girl and they're like, hmm, that is not as... I could imagine, like, that's not feeling as... Um, that, that good as, um, yeah, if you would dance with your girlfriend. Well, the moral of the story, readers, is that do not dance with other girls. <laughs> Wee oui, Wee oui, Blogs Eurovision News with Attitude. We're here with Shalisa from the Netherlands. And remember, do not dance with other girls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>